All right, I got my coffee. It's Monday. Surprising turn of events. I don't have that many meetings today, which I'm shocked about. So I'm going to make the most of it and get back to studying. No more of this AI art bullshit. It's time to be an adult. Mm, good donut. Yes. A little bit. But why I was so pissed off at Stephanie is because of taxes, but I'm still pissed off at her for a lot of good reasons. I just found out super hot new Asian bitch lives right next to me. That's crazy. Maybe it's a sign from the universe. I don't know. What I do know everyone thinks I'm kind of a shut-in and I need to go out and do more stuff. I don't see it that way. I see it. I need to hurry up and get more things done so I have more free time. If anything, I take all this experience to be I was right the first time. And that there's no such thing as taking time off. What does Goku do in between every saga? Him and Vegeta. After the Saiyan saga, training. On his When he's done with King Kai, he has to sort of run there and he has to fly back, right? And he barely wins, right? Technically, Gohan won, didn't he? Because he won ape shit. Freeze the saga. If he wasn't, if Vegeta wasn't training in 50 G's, or Goku wasn't training in 50 G's, 100 G's, she wouldn't turn Super Saiyan. Then slow down. You're training. You're Super Saiyan. No one can beat you. Android saga. Oh, we're gonna beat the android. Cell shows up. Boo shows up. GT doesn't even matter. But things happen in GT. You see what that's real life. How much do you want to bet? If I have been slacking off and not renewing my certs and not getting more diplomas and degrees and shit like that, Peter, he would have not been raided and Stephanie would have been a rap whore. She still is a rap whore, but you know what I mean? In that Rick Ross video, stupid, stupid cunt. Anyways. This is the other thing that I was thinking about. Like everyone during 2022 was like probably my worst years in a while. 2021 was actually a pretty good year, even though it started off bad. That was the year that I made a million liquid. But I just did taxes for 2023, and I made like $300,000. I did a bunch of deductions, and I brought that down to 186. Trying to stay in my power and not give away my attention, focus, and energy. Ooh, I might play emulator. I might play emulator. No, I need to study. I don't have time for emulators. Okay. Well, I could claim that's virtualization troubleshooting. Maybe I'll play emulators in a little bit. It's so like, I had a teacher in high school or Spanish I forgot his name some, some tall goofy fuck some tall goofy fuck but he gave me I, I just remember he, he let us watch Muzzy instead of actually doing Spanish shit we could just watch Muzzy and he gave me some really good advice one time he was like do you know how I learned Spanish I think it's bullshit too do you want to know how, or do you want to know how, I, how, how, how I learned stuff and I was like how 
He was like, I would just put down pieces of paper in my pocket. And on one side, I would write down what it was in Spanish, and the other side, I'd write down what it was in English. So he's like, walking around, hey, you know, yeah, okay, maybe I'll see that movie later. Let me go get some lunch. Hey, what's up, guys? Huh, los. Los means, hmm, okay, hmm. But like, I didn't do that for Spanish. I did that for like everything else because I didn't want to speak Spanish. Because I don't have to talk to my family. Anyways, but I do that for other things. What was I, what was I going on about? Stupid, stupid taxes bullshit. Anyways, look. Anyone who has been watching these videos and understands this is not a Tiffany channel, this is a get into tech, do whatever you want channel, she just nags me. Um, dude. Like... Uh, anyways, oh yeah, no, people keep telling me I need to like go out more, like meet more people. So I'm just talking like manifestation, hot ass Asian bitch lives right next to me, All right? I thought she lived, I knew she lived on the same floor, didn't know she lived right next to me. Manifestation. Anyways, look, um... When I said crypto is going to do this, we're at the, this part. Because we were here, went like this, we're up here, we're going to go like this. So, do you think there's going to be less or more bullshittery going on between now and the election? So I got my 500,000 T fuel staked, forgot, just forgetting about it, not going to touch it. Working again, only reason why I'm not working two jobs, because just honestly, for me, working two jobs is like wiggling two, mu two mouses. And I will say, I'm a very appreciative of my last boss, who's let me work two jobs. I legitimately did not think I was doing anything wrong. I knew I was in a gray area. You're supposed to do it, like, so that way the hours don't even overlap. They were kind of overlapping, but... I'm going to get this cert, and I'll just get a job in, like, California, right, remotely. So that way, like, 8 o'clock there is, like, 4 o'clock here or whatever the fuck, 12 o'clock, who gives a shit? And I'll just do that. I'll work two jobs and start making bank again. I make $350,000 off of just W-2s again and all that bullshit. Anyways, and I put all that into crypto. But um, my advice to anyone who has been listening to me and taking my shit that I say and actually do it at face value... You should have at some point, at this point in time, you should have some form of free crypto income. You should have at least 1,000, preferably 10,000 uh, uh, theta staked. I have a tummy ache. Uh, oh my god, I have a tummy ache. And then, uh, and then the other ones, and, and then you should have at least 10,000, preferably 100,000 T fuel staked. At half a million, you can start adding more, all that bullshit. Who gives a fuck? You want a moonshot, right? You want to retire fast, right? So, I like I know you can buy uh, Veritasium on, on Mercantox. That's fantastic. I don't really know too many places you can take it off of that. And... All the other bullshit I don't want to go into. It's kind of... Uh, I took too big of a bite. It's kind of... Um, and it, look. So right now... Like... About a, in about a week... About every week... Give or take, based on the price, I mined a free hundred dollars of T fuel, right? So what I'm gonna start doing once I pay off a few more things, that way I'm totally got my time freed up. I'm gonna take my monthly profits from T fuel, turn them into USDT, send it to Mercantox, and start buying Veritasium, because when shit hits the fan and that goes to the roof and everything goes down, you know, to the floor. I'm going to start buying Theta hand over fist with that shit. Because while I understand and agree 
with everything Reggie does say, Reggie Middleton is the man. He is like the DeFi. He has the patent for DeFi. That's fantastic. I understand that a whole bunch. I also understand that Uncle Sam has all the guns and they can ruin your life. Like they've been doing to Reggie, like they've done to Julian Assange, like they've done to, again, I wasn't like best friends with Gareth. I just knew there was some guy in our uh, Travian club who was the guild master who was in London or whatever the fuck. And the rumor was he was a spy and then one day he was dead. So like the government has the power to ruin your life. So I don't recommend really spending your crypto yet in case you haven't noticed i only spend what i absolutely have to spend and then as more regulations come in i start cashing out more crypto <coughs> in 2014 there was a guy who cashed out legitimately millions of dollars worth of bitcoin and he's still in jail because they made up a reason to arrest him then they made regulations and now there's a bunch of douchebags who are like i'm a crypto podcaster because they sold out but anyways so now that I know how the taxes work out a bit more, I'm getting to a point where I feel comfortable cashing out crypto for cash. You know, be smarter than this situation. Anyways, what was I talking about? Uh, Veritasium is going to go through the roof. It's just, but, but at the same time, all you can, in my opinion, all you can do with it is you can't do shit with it until they enforce the patent. Yes, they have the patent. When will they enforce the patent? Everyone knows silver is, like, held down. When are they going to let it not be held down? So, don't get it twisted. I think Reggie is, like, um, uh, what is it? Um, he's, like, a martyr for crypto. But I don't want to be a martyr. I just want to... That's why my buddy, who got murdered for, for giving someone... 80, and, by the way, the reason why I'm not... Well, the reason why I'm making Stephanie pay me back is this. Is this. My buddy, someone owed him $80,000... And he said, you can keep it, just stay out of my life. And the motherfucker killed him because he just wanted to be around all that bullshit. So if Stephanie wants to come hang, she's got to pay it back. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. There's none of that weird bullshittery going on. And if you want to... I don't want to go down that path. That was in 2001, 2002. I don't, why, why does she always bring this bullshit up? Get into crypto. You need to get you need to get some veritasium. But aside from that, what I recommend everyone do is just buy as much TPL as you can. Buy as much T drop as you can. The markets are gonna crash, they're gonna go up. When they go way the fuck up again, all that T fuel and T drop, you can then swap for theta on the wallet. So we don't even need exchanges anymore. As a matter of fact, it's getting to the point where all you need is to put the money in the exchange and it's never really gotta come out yet. That's a whole other thing. I think I've been babbling and I have a tummy ache. But I'm done making videos for a while. I have to go study. Okay, peace out.